day, good day, good day. My name is Kel Spencer. I'm the founder and program director of Pens of Power. I want to welcome you all, not just to this video, but to our very first HBCU tour. We headed down to the National Treasure, my alma mater, Morgan State University. Sure, you got a couple of questions? We want to give you a couple of answers. Now, the rundown for Wednesday. We need you there about 4, about 4.30 a.m. It's going to be dark outside. Maybe a little damp. I think there's rain in the forecast for Wednesday. Still going to be a little chilly because spring hasn't officially sprung yet. But 4.30, so that way we can take attendance, get you some warm breakfast, and we want to hit the road by 5.15, 5.30 the latest. We're going to get down to Baltimore at about 8.30. When we get to campus, we're going to set up for a 9 a.m. registration. After we register, we'll be welcomed into what they call the program. I don't know what the program is. I'm going to be enjoying it for the first time right next to you. But the program starts at 10 o'clock. The program is from 10 to 11. And then after the program, we'll be given our tour. The tour will last roughly until about 12, 15, 12, 30. After the tour, we'll be fed lunch. You get an opportunity to go to the bathroom, that whole deal. And then during that lunch time window from about 12, 30 to about 1, 45, You'll also be given an opportunity to go to the bookstore, get some souvenirs. You want to get a sweater, a hoodie, a mug, a gift for yourself, a gift for somebody else. You'll be afforded, you'll be afforded the opportunity to do so. The idea is to leave Baltimore between 1.30 and 2 o'clock so we can make it back to Brooklyn at around 5.30ish. Now, as you know, there was a recent situation with a bridge in Baltimore. That may affect traffic. The weather may affect traffic. It being rush hour, our good old friend, the Bell Parkway, there could be factors that will affect traffic. So we just want to give it that maybe 530 through 615 time window for us to, to for us to make it back. When we make it back, those of you who are coming with a chaperone, obviously you guys can head out and do your own thing. Those of you who um, were your, your trip slip says that it's OK for you to be released on your own. Obviously, you'll be allowed to do that. For those of you who have someone waiting for you, the name on that trip slip needs to match the name of the ID on the person who's waiting for you. Again, their ID is mandatory and it must match the name on your trip slip. If that name needs to be switched, now is the time to do that. If that ID and that name does not match what's on your trip slip, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. So let's avoid all of that. Again, I can be reached directly at 347-480-8060. We are expecting roughly 12 adults as chaperones on this trip. And then of course I have my two teammates, Taylor and Chanel, who will be joining us as well. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to respond to this email or send me a text or give me a call directly. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing everybody on Wednesday. I'm super excited. This is my first time doing this with a group. And um, it's going to be dope. So thank you for being a part of it. And I'll see you soon.